Thank you for joining us. Our top story tonight, a story that many of you are talking about. The now viral video and image of a man pointing a gun at a woman there. You see it right there as the two drove down I-64. We're now hearing from the family of that man. Now, it's the latest in a series of high profile incidents on area interstates. Here's News 3's Coulter Anstead. This most recent incident highlights the issue of road rage. It's something we probably all experience a time or two as we drive down the roads, and it's something local driving schools have advice about. This is the video Tashauna Banks took as she was driving down I-64. You can clearly see a man pull up next to her and point a gun at her. Virginia State Police say that man is Eugene Trujillo. He has been arrested and is facing multiple charges. It's very sensationalized at this point. News 3 spoke to Trujillo's wife at her home, where the car Trujillo was driving in the video is parked out front. She says her husband was defending himself. I just want everyone to know there's uh, two sides to the story. You think it's, it's right for someone to brandish a gun at someone else when they're driving down the interstate? If they're fearing for their life, yes, I do. And if someone's using their vehicle, in a manner to where someone's fearing for their life, absolutely. News 3 attempted to contact Banks, but the number listed for her business does not work and the address listed is just a parkway. According to Banks' account of the incident in court documents, it started when she, Trujillo, and a third car all merged onto the interstate. She claims she changed lanes to pass. Trujillo got mad and began trying to merge into her lane and eventually pulled in front of her and, quote, slamming on brakes, attempting to get me to run into him four times. She says she started recording to get his license plate, then sped off, but Trujillo caught up to her and pointed a gun at her. Oh, in the back of my mind, I think everybody nowadays is thinking about some of these really dangerous situations. Eric Mays is the owner of Peninsula Driving School in Newport News and encourages people to think defensively when driving. Try to keep pl plenty of space, try not to make last minute decisions and, and be, you know, kind of cutting people off. Be courteous, you know, on the roads as best you can. According to court documents, Trujillo is currently being held without bond. In Newport News, Coulter Anstat, News 3.